You are looking at another one of the marvels of Mexico, we promised you. These are the Quebrada Cliff Divers in Acapulco, and they propel themselves horizontally. Look at that, 30 feet out, and then they go down into the water, which is as shallow as 11 feet. They have to hit the wave exactly right. And guess who's joined them up there? Are you ready? Take a look. The first woman is up there. Yes, indeed, Iris Alonso is now joining the ranks and giving new meaning to the phrase, you go girl. She <laughs> has done it. And I'm Diane Sawyer in Mexico, and Robin Roberts is off, and you go girl. And Chris Cuomo, hello to you, back in New York. I thought that was you diving off that cliff for a second, Diane. What amazing <laughs> pictures. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, sure, and my nightmare is amazing. And I also told you, Chris, we're going to introduce you to a man who has toppled an American record of sorts, toppled a titan, Bill Gates, no longer the richest man on the planet. A Mexican is the richest man anywhere on the globe, and you're going to have a chance to meet him. It's his first American television interview. That's coming up, Chris. His art collection is legendary. Bless. Never seen one in... No, it's a marvelous. So is his disinterest in the celebrity of money. So Americans wake up and they see magazine covers, they see newspaper articles, that an American is no longer the richest man on the planet, that you are the richest man on the planet. What does that mean to you? Nothing. Nothing? No, nothing. Wait to do that. <laughs> this is his first interview ever for American television. We're in one of his offices. And thank you for letting us come in the middle of a Yankees game. Notice the New York Yankees are playing on every TV screen. In here, the table and chairs belong to his father, a Lebanese immigrant who taught his son finance and family. Can you still see your father sitting at this table? Well, I see him in many ways. The father made young Carlos keep a ledger of how he spent his five peso weekly allowance. What were you spending it on? No, Here, the father so criticizes the child's choices. Yeah. And Mr. Slim yeah, has a famous yeah. saying about his own children. It's important to give a better country to your children, but it's more important to give better children to your country. They work inside his company. It's how he raised them to stay together. His three boys. They used to sleep in the same room, the three of them. And also my three girls sleep in the same room. They have only one, one bed. Is it true that you don't use a computer? I don't have a computer. He's wearing a Swiss Army watch. And he says he can't understand the American billionaires who love to show off their wealth. That you want to have a toy and then another toy. and then, uh, That's not mature, I think, no? And the biggest things in life uh, has, uh, this isn't, uh, is not, are not material. And Mr. Slim is not the only surprising thing about the vitality of modern Mexico. Did you know that an international magazine named this country the best place to retire on Earth? A Mexican high schooler won the gold medal for math at the International Math Olympics. And for all the poverty still here, the nation is the fifth largest oil producer on the planet and the 12th largest economy. Which brings us back to Carlos Slim, though not everyone is his admirer. Political analyst Denise Dresser says Slim has such a monopoly in Mexico, he strangles competition. As a protest, she carries an American phone, so her pesos don't add to his mounting fortune. As Mr. Slim is not capable of understanding that he is blocking competition and that in doing so, he is holding the country back. The richest man says, in effect, bring it on. Competition make you better. Competition make you better. If you were the only people that make interviews in U.S., you will not be as good as you are. Though he told us he does worry about America and the coming competition. American leaders, he says, are not giving hardworking American laborers the kind of vision they need to stay ahead, say, of the Chinese. China is taking very clear of the future of, the, of his country and doing the job that they need to do. In the meantime, he will watch and invest from south of the border, running his companies, his charities, building his fortune, content to stay below the radar, adding up the numbers, especially those of his favorite baseball team. So who are the best, the five best baseball players of all time? The first five batters, of, in my point of view, to the, until now, are six. <laughs> I think they are Baby Ruth, Ty Cobb, Ted Williams, uh, Roy Horsby and Lou Gehrig and Barry Bonds. And Barry Bonds? Barry Bonds has interesting records. Uh, in home runs, he's not the first. Alex Rodriguez is great. If someone said to you, 
if you give up all your businesses, tomorrow you can be Rodriguez. Tomorrow you could be Babe Ruth. Would you give it all up to be Babe Ruth? No, no because uh, I don't give up my, my family. It's not a problem of money or wealth, it's a problem of your environment. And I will be dead already for many years. <laughs> and now, before we take a break, we want to show you another of the sites we told you you simply have to see if you come to Mexico. These are called the Papantla Flyers, 50 feet above the ground. It's a dance, an honor to the gods, based on an ancient Aztec ceremony. And not only do they swing and fly and dance, look, they play instruments upside down. Watch and be amazed. Amazing. Look at them go. Diane will not be up there, but we will have more from her coming up.